Welcome back to the Great Lakes Regional on the road to Williamsport as we get set for Kentucky and Indiana this afternoon, trying to book a spot in tomorrow night's championship game where Hinsdale, Illinois waits. As you look, trying to qualify, 10 teams from around the U.S. will qualify for Williamsport. And of course, we're in the Great Lakes region, Michigan, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, and Kentucky. Two teams already eliminated. Oh, they would love to see him get it going. Straight back up the middle. That'll get you going with the shortstop oh, O'Connor wow. with a terrific play to throw him out. Most trusted strike pitch, or if he just fears Phillips that much, but he lands that breaking ball with ease. Oh, oh. The one out base runner for Bowling Green. He's ready for the breaking ball into right. And Phillips does move over to third after the ball is fielded in right. Runners at the... Jake Young, the third baseman, bats. A chance to put Bowling Green in front. Yeah. And the runner will trot down to second as the catcher, Dedrick, walks down Phillips at third before... Fastball right back to Brosmer. Checks the runner to first. Coming home. Safe at the plate. Kentucky takes the lead here in the first. And you could hear the verbals from the manager, Jeff Goodnight, told him to hold and then go on the throw. And Phillips, who can really run, would well, have been close if we had a clean catch at the plate. But Dedrick unable to catch it. And now Dylan White will try to extend that lead. That one gets away, and here comes Crawford, 2-0, Bowling Green in the first. Yeah, I think, I think this was exactly that, that instance. Only time Kentucky has trailed in the tournament was when Hinsdale walked it off last night. In center field, Heichelbeck makes the grab. That's a heck of a start there couple really sharp pitches. The third baseman Young played it perfectly, one away here in the first. Break out Turner, that's just for K, the first initial. I don't know, I think it works for both. Yeah, I like a double entendre. He's out at first on a close play with Young, the third baseman, again coming in quickly. You're right, I shorted Boyd at first base making the play. That one hit right to him. And on seven go. pitches. Apes gains. I, all team, all name team for sure. You're good, buddy. You're good. Hot shot down to Ashton Patton at third. And he retires. And we saw on the other side, Jake Young was up close and personal with every hitter. That's right back to the pitcher, Brosmer, and very quickly, two down in the second. Or should we say k Dog against Ralphie here? Yeah, let's go for it. The other Patton twin makes the catch in right. Two away, now three. Huffman bats to lead it off for Jasper here. I got it, I got it. Loved by the shortstop Phillips, and there's one away. I would not have wanted to see Scott rolling on a Little League field. I don't oh, think... No. Payoff pitch. Smoked and it's fair into the corner. Werner gonna head all the way to third and he's in there. Jasper Indiana threatening here in the second. Quinn Buckman the hitter. To the shortstop Phillips, he's coming home. Throw is offline, runner now touches home plate. And Indiana has the lead all the way to second is Buckman. Not, in, not on the board, not in the lead. Beg your pardon. Yeah, this is this is kind of eerily similar to last night. Phillips comes charging. I think at this point in the game, throw it to first. Take your out. You're up to the ball sails up the line. That one's a much tougher chance for Carr than the one last night. And Bachman doesn't go Kentucky's way. And now Indiana just one run back. Go! 
Bachman to third with no throw. And now the tying run 60 feet away. Infield back everywhere except Young at third. Ashton Patton ties it up with an opposite field single in the second. Boy, that was a pretty swing, wasn't it? I mean, just a rifle piece to right field, a rocket. Nice job by White Scott just getting over. Back. Hits with one out and delayed steal. Patton catching everybody napping is in at second. Nope, they'll send it yeah, back. The pitch, pitcher had the ball in the. Swing and a miss. First strikeout for Crawford with the hook. And there are two down. Mm. A hit behind third. And Patton holds it second. Two on and two out now for Jasper. Oh, Lee and Patton. Plays right field. And he lines a hard ball up to center. Twin Ashton coming toward the plate. In there safely, Jasper Indiana in the lead here in the second. How cool is that? Brother driving in brother. Both of them using the middle opposite side of the field as Ashton had an RBI base hit. Line drive to right field, and now Keegan with an RBI. 11 hitter in the Jasper, Indiana order. Bats in the second. Second baseman Kip Walden ends the inning, but three runs come across. No balls, two strikes. Work. Choke up, scoot up, battle. Two strike advice. I like it. First strikeout. Of start. Mm -hmm. Strikeout number two for Brosmer. That brings us to Pipes. Drives this one to center. Playable there for Heichelbeck. Perfect shutdown inning for Brosmer and Jasper, Indiana, back to the plate with the lead. Fantastic first inning, ran into some trouble in the second. And walks the leadoff man here in the third. Hey, we got nobody out, so you're out, you'll see where they're at. They're kind of in a little bit, right? They're in a little bit. First walk issued by either pitcher. Down to second on the wild pitch. They didn't even need to bunt here. And it Upstairs, it was too high upstairs. Uh -oh. In there at third base, Landon Dedrick. Edging Bowling Green, Kentucky in the seventh last night. So this is quite a turnaround from being in the driver's seat okay. to facing an elimination game the next day. Normal spot for him. <laughs> That one gets away, and it'll just be Grossmer moving up to second as, or sorry, Levin moving up to second as Dedrick holds it third. To straightaway center and deep, and the ball drops on the track. Two runs come across, 5-2 Jasper, Indiana. Talk. Wow, what an at-bat here by Grossmer. Up there, ready to swing, kind of loses his front side, but absolutely juices it on the sweet spot. That ball with the wind blowing out to center has enough carry. The third, two runs already across for Jasper in the inning. Swing and a miss. Big out for Pipes Gaines against the first hitter he faces.
Out on strikes again. Second straight for Pipes Games. Now. Hit him in the shoulder. And there are two on with two out here in the third. That one does get away. And no chance for a throw. I think he lost his footing just as he went to, but probably best to hold it. Runners at second and third. Captain Carr toward the dugout makes the grab. A big out for Bowling Green, and it avoids further damage. Kids from BG East coming back to the plate, down three in the fourth. As Kentucky got off to such a quick start, and Crawford looked so so good on the mound, but Indiana's just put together quality at bats and really sees momentum of this game, and Brosner's been fantastic. Now that's exactly what Kentucky needed right there, which was something to feel good about. As Cable Baseball on all day, it's that time of year. Right at the left fielder, Michael Braun. Despite solid contact, and there's one away. There's very high here. That'll stay on the infield. So it is a hit for Phillips. Two on and one out here in the, in the lineup. You just never know how many times you're going to get an opportunity like this for the middle of the lineup to drive in some runs. We saw the left fielder. Braun break back and then able to come back in and make the catch for the second out here in the fourth. Mm -hmm. And in the Jasper. Brosmer quickly off the mound, makes the play to first. And after two runners reach for Kentucky in the fourth, none of them come across to score. Jasper, Indiana, in the lead. Ashton Patton lays down a bunt. Pipes gains with the heater to first. One away. Second inning of work for Gaines. That's fielded in front of the plate. Out at first with the throw from Captain Carr. Did really well to realize if he picked it up fair. Which from third base, he's the kind of guy you'd like to play for. He's very encouraging about letting his hitters let it rip. It works out as Braun reaches with two. Pipes gains. Sees that one hits a short. Phillips blocks it, won't have a play. Two on with two out for Jasper, Indiana here in the fourth. Three, two count with two outs. So of course the runners, as soon as the ball reaches the plate, will be off. Down on strikes. Punch out number three for Pipes Gaines. As he started 12 of them off with a first pitch strike. Lead off hit for Kentucky here in the fifth. Dylan White delivers. Carr with that same swing, this time on a breaking ball to right field. Two on, nobody out. Here comes Bowling Green East in the fifth. Verifying that was a called strike. Fastball in again. Opposite field swing and a good one, but it's snagged by Keegan Patton out there for the first out. White moves up to third on the play, but a big out recorded. Brady Boyd is the hitter. Runner does go, they throw through, and he goes back to first. Oh boy, a little extra throw there, and now the runner will take second. A little bit of everything. He's trying to be right in the middle of a different kind of comeback for his squad here in this one. It's a two strike bunt. And it's fouled off. It was a squeeze on 0-2. That was the adjustment. And so the hitter is out. Two outs here in the fifth. Well, the first four, it, this has not been a smooth ride by any means. Still has a chance to post the zero. Inside. It's inside. 
One run in for Kentucky, and still the bases loaded in the fifth. Rush to left field. And the catch made. Michael Braun got back to haul it in. A hard hit ball. Pipes gains on the mound. Gets the ground ball. And Kip Walden throws out Dedrick for the first out here in the bottom of the fifth. That stays in play. We got to get over. Boyd gonna have to hustle in time for the out. Pipes Gaines got caught turning into a spec. Got a piece of that. The second baseman Walden though ends the inning. One, two, three goes Jasper in the fifth, and now they're ready for the half inning. Not a ticket coming up at the top of the hour, guys. Hold it, hold it. Flying fast and furious here. He's ready for the seventh pitch. Curveball hits a third. Yep. They get one. They have it out at first. And holding at first is the hitter Walden. One away here in the sixth. Here's this guy that I keep waiting to bust out. I got a catch Great to grab it short. And getting back alertly to first was Walden to keep the game alive. Hagan O'Connor with the... They throw through. Oh, and God. it's second base. Jasper, Indiana, if it hurts us up, will play for the Great Lakes region title. Walden tries to take the base. He gets caught in the middle. And I tell you what, I, I think the tag from O'Connor arrives in time. The throws up the line. Out. Well, I don't know. That lead foot just looks like it. it's still just a touch up in the air. See how it's still in the air when it looks like the glove arrives right there. And the, and the foot still. There you go. The runner at second is out, and Jasper, Indiana, will play Wednesday night for a trip to Williamsport. What an effort and what a game between these two. Another classic. We knew there'd be drama there in the last. I, I didn't expect it to end that way, but you got to give Jasper a ton of credit. Took a punch in the first, down by two.